If you turn on your engine, does it necessarily mean that your vehicle starts moving? Hi, my name is Akash, you're watching AutoRage and this is AutoRage Explained where I tell you basic technologies used in automobiles so that you can understand your vehicle better. How is power transmitted from the engine to the wheels? That is exactly what we are going to find today. If you're more comfortable watching this video in Hindi, click right here or on the link in the description bar below because we want more and more people to understand this. When you turn your key to start the engine, the starter motor rotates the flywheel and when the flywheel is rotating, it is moving piston up and down by a crankshaft. This process is known as cranking the engine. And now when the engine is working on its own, the pistons are not moving because of flywheel. Instead, the flywheel is rotating because of the piston via crankshaft. Flywheel is connected to clutch assembly. Now just to clarify, AMT which you see in Maruti and Tata cars and DSG which you see in Volkswagen cars, we are considering them in manual transmission. The fully automatic cars use torque converter instead of clutch assembly. We have a video on different types of transmission. You might want to watch that video to understand different types of transmission. Now considering manual transmission, which includes AMT and DSG, the clutch is connected to transmission or gearbox, where gearbox set the desired gear ratio to provide optimum power and torque and which rotates the drive shaft. The drive shaft is connected to differential and the differential distributes the rotational energy individually to both the wheels. The axles transmit the rotational energy from the differential to the wheels. Now if your car is front wheel drive, rear wheel drive or all wheel drive, the sequence remains the same. Starter motor flywheel engine, then engine flywheel clutch gearbox drive shaft differential axles and wheels. Boom! I said it right in Hindi version also. Some advanced cars have advanced mechanisms. Like Audi Cotro has three differentials. But right now we are sticking to basics. This is the sequence of four wheelers. If you want to understand the sequence of two wheelers, cast your vote and let us know. If you are from India and you are confused on which car should you buy, drop us a message on this number via WhatsApp and we'll try our best to help you out because there's no harm in asking. You can spread this video by sharing and I'm sure you like our content. So you must have already liked and subscribed to our channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.